Even if my pocket's empty, I don't really wanna go to work. No, no, no. It is so sweet under the sun. Today, I can't wait to show you. We're gonna take you a scooter ride the whole way around this island from one point to the next. We're at a special place right here called the Blue Hole. Let's just get on this scooter and show you what everything that's here to do in Bermuda. All right, so the first thing we need to do is get a scooter. If you're coming in on a cruise ship, we use Scooter Mart. It's right at the port. And I would also recommend you reserve ahead of time. All right, here we go. All right, it can be a little tricky getting that scooter out of King's Wharf, but just find the main road. What the hell? Here we go. This is the main road out of the cruise port, King's Wharf. Oh, we're on our scooter ride here. You can see some in front of us. And look at these views along the water. Now this is where we walked to yesterday up across this bridge is a place called Woody's. They got the best fish sandwich. Oh, and here's the train. You could ride this train on the island too. Up here's Ruby's gas station. This is probably the last gas station you can get if you're renting a scooter from the cruise terminal, Ruby's. And right across the street, right there is Woody's. Right, here we are. It's called New Woody's Sports Bar. This is where you get the local Bermudian fish right here pick that up i'm pretty excited it's here. grilled raisin bread and the fish look at all the fish that's what makes this famous is oh how goodness. big the fish is it's hold huge. that up it's oh huge. my gosh that's only half oh, Whoa. oh oh that was the bread i'll eat the bread you see that and it's a spicy fish too Ooh, i love it i tasted a piece of the fish you want your go hand? ahead taste it I don't know if I'm picking this up. Oh, and it's got coleslaw on too. I forgot oh about God. that. It's messy. Ooh. Oh, but I can tell you. Watch, there's a toothpick in it. Oh, you can split it with somebody. It's that big. Who would have ever thought of having a fish sandwich on raisin bread? So good. That's Bermuda style. Yeah, good. And I will tell you, there's a couple ways to get around this island. One is by scooter. If you're coming in on a cruise ship, you cannot rent a car. They are for the locals. The only thing you can rent is a scooter or moped or use the public transportation. I hope you can see this water. I got this camera strapped around my neck, so I can't turn very easily. I will tell you also, Bermuda, there are some windy roads, and when you're on a scooter, you got to try and stay left because other scooters will try and pass you or even cars and buses. So just make sure you're using your mirrors and you're paying attention. Now, in case you're wondering, all these people in front of us are with the channel. They're all subscribed. Nah, I'm just kidding on that. That's cool. Thanks for letting us follow you. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know where you're going or just driving? Uh, we're going to a horseshoe bend. Okay, that's where I was hoping. Yeah. Uh, when you're driving around, you get to see views like this. Look at this beach down here. I'm assuming this might be somebody's house, but I don't know. And there looks like a golf course. Look at these views over here on the right. Now, we just stopped with these people up here at that last site and they said they were watching the sunset and somebody came right up and stole their scooter. They reported it to the police. Apparently it's very rare. You don't know if that's true or not, but also make sure you just take your key out of your scooter when you're driving and any valuables like a bag, take those along too. Our next stop is Horseshoe Bay. You don't want to miss Horseshoe Bay, but then we're going to take you to 
a spectacular beach. I think it's called Jacobson Beach. We got a lot of stuff to show you today, so thank you for riding along. You getting off? I'm gonna have to get off before me. Well, I can't because somebody had to hold the bike up. Another spectacular beach down here. This looks like it could be some kind of hotel. But I don't know, I see buses down there too. Now do you see these? They got these little pullover areas the whole way along, driving from the island. So if you see a pullover, most likely, it's gonna be a great view. Make sure you're checking them all out. This is Horseshoe Bay we're coming down into. So do you think people steal the helmets or did everybody leave them? Well, we can lock it inside. Oh, yeah. Uh, and here's where you park your scooters to get to Horseshoe Bay and you just walk down to where you see the buildings. All right, this is Horseshoe Bay. If you come in the entrance and you go to the right, this is where it's more calm, more private. So this is what Horseshoe, Horseshoe Bay looks like. Look at this. Up there are some hotels up on the cliff, but this is the tourist place that everybody wants to come because everybody hears about it. Do you see how picturesque this is right here? It's so calm right here. You can just walk in this water and get wet. Let's just walk down. Do you see this sand? This sand is famous in Bermuda. It's pink. I hope you can see it on the camera. But what a spectacular beach for sure. Oh, and they do have lifeguards on duty here. If you have little ones, it's safe. All right, you see these little sheds here along the way. This is where you catch the bus. You can see right there, that one's got a pink on it. So that's the pink route, which will take you to different parts of the island. And the blue route will take you one spot. And I think there's a green one as well. Jobson Beach. We're going to walk down here and show you what this is all about. This apparently is the most picturesque on the island. Look how pink that sand is. Man, this water is so warm. It's like perfect temperature right now. I'm waiting for my wife to get knocked over. All right, let's see how close we can get out to my wife. These waves are a little rough today. All right, this is Jobson Beach. This is where we just were. But if you go right, continue right over here is more beaches. He showed me a map. And it was like 10 more beaches over on this side. Jobson. Look at this. Jobson Cove. That looks really cool. All right, that was Jobson Beach. We continue on. Again, there's one main road. There's a lot of side streets you can take. But we're just going to stay on the main road to show you how to get from one side of the island to the next. And we got that water back there. It's like we got the AC on on this shirt. There's a public transportation. You can see it says on the front. That's going back to the cruise ship, the dockyard. How do you get, how do you get to the Swizzle Inn? Swizzle Inn. Swizzle Inn. All the way down. So go up here at the George. circle, which way? Yeah, you go up the hill and go all the way down to St. George's. Okay, to head towards St. George. Yeah. Okay, yeah. thank you. I tell you, when you're on a scooter and you're riding through Bermuda. It's just spectacular. Even the side of the roads are just nicely landscaped. Look at some of these buildings here. Look at all that vegetation. Look at that golf course. Shit, this guy's teeing off over our head. <laughs> Do you see that? Yeah. Way. Right? So I gotta go across? There it is! The There's Bailey's! Going right here, I 
guess. Oh! All right, this is their motto. Swizzle in and swagger out. But it's a must. Sorry. <laughs> Excuse me. When you come to Bermuda, it's got indoor seating here. They got a gift shop right here. And then they got stuff on the bottom. Here's the gift shop. All right, this is the famous rum swizzle. Bermudian drink that started right here at the Swizzle Inn. Do you remember what was in it? Pineapple juice, all kinds of juices. I, sh I took a picture of it, I'll show you here. Lots of rum. <laughs> but let's taste this. Swizzle in. That's refreshing. Oh yeah. yeah it's good. I taste that pineapple in there. Yeah, yeah. Swizzle in. Don't miss this place for sure. Cheers. All right, so what we get, hon? Um, these are wahoo bites, so wahoo fish. And then conch fritters, yum. And then their onion rings, homemade onion rings. Look, Look amazing. Those, we got the sampler platter. So I can't wait to try this. Looks like we went, what, tartar? And this looks like cocktail. Yeah. Let's try it. You try one, I'll try one. Oh, that's what I was going for, the fish. All right, go ahead. I'll do the comp. I tell you, where was the place we had to come? Bimini. Make sure you watch that video. Yeah. Let's try the conch fritter. We just watch them cut this thing up. They're amazing. Amazing. Hands down the best conch fritters we've ever had. I know these probably ain't going to come here. Mm. Oh, that looks like Look at that fish. fish. That wahoo fish is amazing. You gotta taste this. You don't like tartar shells, do you? Yeah. Here, taste that. I wanna taste that conch fritter. I see all that conch in there. That's really good. Those conch fritters are pretty close, aren't they? Yeah, that, that's a definite close. Wow. Oh, you can see it's got a lot of conch in there. It looks like some vegetables, too. But the seasoning is amazing on that. Well worth the stop mm -hmm. in Bermuda. Swizzle in. Swizzle in, swagger out. Swagger out, that's their motto. All right, and this is the swizzle in on the top deck. But what I want to show you is where we're going to next. It's right across the street. It is Bailey's ice cream. And it's right at Crystal Cave. Uh, and swizzle in's got some outdoor seating. Let's just walk in here and see what it looks like. Swizzle in. Ah, look at all this. I see dollar bills everywhere. Over here's the bar. This place has been here since 1937. Over there's a restaurant area. And look up inside here. There's plenty of dollar bills. And over here's the bar area. Hang your tips on the stairs. All right, there it is. The swizzle in. You don't hear a lot of traffic, but this is what it looks like look for this brown building it's very popular in bermuda let's get across the street to where bailey's is all right here's bailey's ice cream this is famous in bermuda and then if you want to there's the bailey's ice cream truck you just follow this path down to the crystal cave we might go in there i don't know Bailey's ice cream parlor. Let's go in here. I guarantee it's going to smell like ice cream. And look at all these homemade flavors they have. What kind you get, honey? Chocolate. Chocolate chip. Is it good? Mm -hmm. And very cold. <laughs> she got the chocolate chocolate. That's all she said she wanted when we were at the Swizzle Inn. <laughs> I got the banana malt. They make all the ice cream right here. You got to try. Bailey's ice cream. All right, and you walk down this path and down here you'll see the entrance, the ticket office to Crystal Caves. Everybody tells me it's spectacular. I got a lot in this video. I don't know if I can include that. See, it looks like that's the way you exit from it. The ticket office is up here this way. 
But the grounds here are beautiful. Welcome to Crystal and Fantasy Caves. I'll throw some video in here or some pictures so you can see what it's like. We just don't have time for this today. Just left Swizzle in and we turn left out of the parking lot. We're heading to the place called the Blue Hole. Another beach area, but where you can actually swim in a blue hole. Now, to get to the Blue Hole, you come right down from the Swivel Inn and don't go across the bridge. Make a right, right before that. And that's where it is. Let's walk back here and see what this is all about. I know this is a tourist attraction. A lot of people have said you got to come here. All right, here's where it is. You take this path down to the left. All right, this is taking us down. That little path, just follow that down ask if you see somebody because we didn't know either all right you come down here you'll find a couple little swimming areas but look for this right here this is where you can get in and swim this is the blue hole look out there all right whenever you're ready here we go this guy's jumping off into the blue hole yeah all right, here's the second person. She's going to jump in. Triple flip. <laughs> and across from the blue hole is another swimming area. We just saw people get out of here. It's pretty rocky, but it's probably great for snorkeling. Also, there's a couple little paths that'll take you down here to little private beaches. I don't know how you get down there. I guess you got to crawl down. All right, if you're walking back, Back towards your car to the parking lot, there's a cave to the left. You walk down here and I hear water dripping. It's not very bright. It's later in the day, so I don't know much you can see here. Do you hear it? That's really cool, man. Take you up. I feel it's stuff dripping on me in this cave. Look at this. So here's a little path to get down to that beach. I gotta walk down here because it's very secluded. I feel like I'm on Survivor. Look at this private little cove right here. Oh man, you could sit here all day. Look how secluded this beach is right here. There might be seven or eight people here at the Blue Hole. All right, here we are. We're coming into the town of St. George, which is another place. I would have to do a whole separate video on this because there's so much to see. I can't put it in here. You'll see some of Hamilton, which is the larger of the two towns. You've got Hamilton and St. George but St. George is beautiful too. Here's a map of Hamilton, but do you see how big this place is? And if you wanna do some shopping, come over to Hamilton. Take the ferry from King's Wharf if you're on a cruise ship. I got a whole video on Hamilton, so don't miss that. It's a great tour of the town of Hamilton. And I got the coconut, island flavor. I don't even like coconut. Some expensive homes in here for sure. That's cool, what is that? Man, what is that? All right, we just finished up gassing the scooter on the way back. Did you have a good day? I did. Let's head back to King's Wharf. All right, here we come back into the Royal Naval Yard or King's Wharf. We just took you from one side of the island to the other. It took about, I don't know, an hour and a half maybe. But you can see our ship ahead there. Now, one thing that's nice when you return is you can park. If you did multiple days, like in Bermuda here, like we did, you can park your scooter right at the cruise ship. There's our cruise ship. It didn't leave without us. So we're just going to drive this over to the cruise ship. And 
you'll see where you get to park. Right there's the clock mall. Oh, I might as well throw this in. When you're at the port and you're driving around on a scooter, here's Snorkel Park Beach Club. You pay to get in here. But it's very nice as I'll show you here. Oh! So follow the road that goes out to your cruise ship. And you'll see the parking over here for uh, all your scooters. We gotta return this tomorrow early, so we'll just park it here overnight. Hopefully it'll still be here. So where are you going there? I guess there's a spot right there. How do you get in there? Is that a spot? It is so sweet under the sun. And even if my pocket's empty, I don't really want to.